Yo, what is up guys? Shamus is back here and this time I'm going to give you guys the collection tour of 2023. If you guys are curious where I do all of my unboxings, it all goes down on this couch right here. This table right here is where I put all my statues and figures and just do my review, but that's not what this video is about. We're about to check out the collection, so follow me guys. This is the collection right here. Let's go more in depth. So these are two custom shelves that I built. They started off as garage shelves from Home Depot, but I added the black backdrop to it, the black shelves. I also added some lighting to it. And it's pretty cool with this remote right here. I control how dim the lights get. But let's start off with these admirals down here. So with this first shelf right here, this is all Jamaica Palace and everything in this collection are gonna be licensed statues, but we got companion pieces right here. We have the fire and ice base with a Kainu on top and Kuzan. And the way this thing lights up is just amazing. It has a slow post Sami light up on a Kainu side and we also got Kizaru right there. And look at the flicker on his legs in the base right there. And then down here we have all the certificates and plaques by the statues. One thing about me, I always have to display the certificates also because it just elevates the collection. Here, just to give you guys a close up of the statue, we see Kuzan riding on the bike, a Kainu with the magma fist. And just check out the glow of the magma right there, YouTube. And then for Kizaru, his base lights up too. I put him on a pedestal so he can kind of level with the other admirals we got. And I just love that dynamic pose on. Kizaru, so I really love this display right here, YouTube. And then if we move up, we have more admirals. You guys will think I like the admirals, but they're an amazing part of the story. So this shelf right here, it's not all Jamaica Palace. We have an Infinity Studio statue right there with Fujitora in the middle. And then we have the version one of Akainu that Jamaica Palace brought out, followed by Sengoku, Fleet Admiral. And with the Kainu right here, I think this statue has my favorite light up ability out of every statue that I've ever seen. I just love the magma effect and the way it just flows to the dragon or the magma dog. Yeah, the details on this one are just insane. With Fuji Tora, I just love that kind of ring around him. Kind of has a 3D effect and I love that this statue lights up also. You see that purple? Purple is one of my favorite colors, so... I think Fujitora looks badass. And then Sengoku, I love how they had the frame artwork for this one. I love how he's utilizing his ability. He's knocking somebody down. See that dynamic pose that he's doing with the gold guy behind him. This is awesome. So we got the certificates by these statues also. Just gives it that premium look. And now if we move higher, you two. So every statue I showed you guys so far was 1-6 scale, but when we go up here, these are where we start to get a little bigger. We have 1-4 scale licensed statues by Soloing, and I think the poses on these statues look incredible. So here we have Khalifa in her iconic pose. She's from CP9, and she holds it down in the collection. She's definitely the sexiest, and I love the details on her. If we move along. You see the cool sand details on Crocodile's base. We also see the Marine member right there. And I just love how he's lunging forward like that. Crocodile is one of the best villains in One Piece, in my opinion. And now let's check out the man, Katakuri, one fourth scale. And the pose on him is incredible. I love how he has his weapon behind him. He's looking badass. When he had his battle with Luffy and Snake Man form, I just had to get a statue of him. So that was a Soul Wing shelf right there. And if we move along, we have a mixture right here. We have Jamei Palace, we have Soul Wing, and then we have a toy animation statue. All the way to the left, we have Roronoa Zoro versus Vassal Hawkins. In the middle, we got Marco the Phoenix, my favorite character. And then to the right, we have Luffy and Anne from Romance Dawn. With this statue right here, I just love the way that it lights up. Zoro's slash move is lighting up blue, and this is really dynamic. Zoro's pose just looks amazing, and then I just love the clear resin on Marco the Phoenix right here. This one's by Soul Wing. The blue resin with the yellow highlights on his wings. All the details on the base right there. 
multiple head scopes. And then we got the certificate for the toy animation statue. This one's simple and cartoony looking, but I love it. Now that's an epic looking shelf, but when we go down, this is where it starts to get interesting. We have the Yonko guys right here, white beard on the left and black beard on the right. And these are some of the two best statues that Jamea Palace made. And I love how white beard's face, the water glows blue. I placed these two by each other because if you guys know what happens in that arc, you know why. I think it blends nice in the story. We got the certificate for white beard and then the details on the base and this pose right here and the details on his muscles. This isn't one of the best anime statues. This is one of the best statues, period. Then we have the certificate for Marshall D. Teach and his base is just crazy. I have unboxing videos for almost all these statues in my collection if you guys want a more in-depth look. But I just love how Blackbeard is depicting his ability. You also see the ability in his backhand right there. With that head scope right there, there's just no beating that YouTube. Both these statues right here are super heavy but very premium. And if we go down, down here is where we have Kaido the Beast along with Big Mom. I put these two by each other because of the Wano arc. These two just tag up and it is crazy. But I love how Big Mom has the life ability and the water on her base. And then with Kaido, you see his base, it has a pulsating effect to it. Jamei Palace weren't playing around when it came to all their Yonkos. I'm still hoping that they make one of Shanks. Just give you guys a close up of the details on Kaido. The fact that they added the dragon behind them was such a nice touch. With Big Mom, they added the, all the elements that she uses. One Piece is a very colorful series. That's one thing I love about all One Piece statues. Look at the paint application on Big Mom. So at Jamei Palace, these are all the Yonkos that they did so far. And the job that they did on these four were just amazing. All right, so you guys seen all the statues displayed on this side of the wall right here. With these statues right here, these are more the fantasy side of One Piece. At the top shelf, we have Zoro, Luffy, and Nami all in Chinese style outfits. Zoro and Luffy have a kingdom sort of style to it, and I believe these were both by Toei Animation. The scaling on these statues are interesting because we have Zoro here at 1 4 scale, Luffy at 1 6, and Nami, she's 1 4 scale, but she is huge. She has to be at least 1 3rd scale, so. The scaling on these guys are interesting. The base on Zoro looks amazing and we see with his armor and his weapons, all the details on it. Love the pose and that facial scope right there is amazing. With Luffy, I love the way he's riding on the bull. It just makes Luffy look so dominant. And with Nami, I have nothing much to say about her, but the dress looks amazing. I love how she's holding the paintbrush. So these were the Chinese style One Piece statues and if we move down. So with these statues right here, these are one four scale licensed statues by Unique Art. And these statues are designed to look like the artwork on the DVD cover for the Log Post collection. This is how the Log Post cover looks like for Zoro and if you see the statue, they did a good job resembling him. Here we have Luffy. Love the pose on Luffy by the way. Then we have Sanji right there. So not too much to say about the unique art statues. They're pretty simple, but I love the one four scale. It just makes these statues have a presence. And if we move down, we have the other two unique art statues for Nami and Nico Robin. And then to the right, we have a huge statue of the Thousand Sunny, the ship that the Straw Hats ride on by Infinity Studio. And the light up base on this one is nice. Give you guys a quick close up of these statues right here. I think Unique Art did a really good job on Nico Robin right here. Then we have Nami. So nicely detailed statues right here, but let's check out some Mega House statues really quick. So we got Doflamingo on the left and 
Awesome villain, by the way. You saw Luffy Gear 4 with Chopper. Here we got Shanks and Crocodile. Some of these are gonna be older Mega House figures. And I just love this one right here. We got Luffy, Zoro, Nami in their Wano outfit. Here we have three Manga Dimension figures, meaning it has 2D shading to it. Luffy, Zoro in their Wano outfits. And down here, I believe these are Bant Presto figures. I got these such a long time ago. These are how I started my One Piece collecting, but still got them. And I love these guys. Make sure we show Sanji back there. Here we have father and daughter, Kaido and Yamato on the pedestal right here. What I like about this pedestal is that it's able to light up. With this remote right here, you're able to change the colors on it. That is sick, YouTube. I gotta implement more pedestals in my collection. Here we have Whitebeard, Marco the Phoenix behind him with Arlong and the Thousand Sunny behind him. This white beard right here, this guy is one of my favorite figures in my collection. He was hard to get, but I got him. So here we have Kazuki Odin followed by Law in their Wano outfits. Then we got Stealth Black followed by Zoro. That Zoro figure is amazing. I love all the swords on him. Then here we just have some older Mega House figures. Then more Mega House figures down here. I believe Anel in the middle is a figure arts figure, but still looks good. Got my man Frankie in the back with the older version of Crocodile with Nami and Nico Robin on the side. So these are all my One Piece figures right here. And I try and keep all the One Piece together. And I try my best to stick with one series it's a lot cheaper on my wallet. about to look at some of the other things in my collection but I'm curious what you guys think about all this one piece right here first off shout out to my man Antonio for giving me this glass display right here because I can't just let a nice display go to waste and this is all Demon Slayer guys these are Antiplex figures PVC meaning they're made out of plastic but still high quality. We got the Rengoku versus Akaza wall art right there by Aniplex. Now if we take a look at this shelf, I didn't know if you guys knew it, but I'm a huge fan of Jujutsu Kaisen. But first let's take a look at My Hero Academia. This is the main character, Deku, 1-4 scale. Also got Bakugo right there. And this figure right here, this is the only thing that I have from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. The main character, Rimuru Tempest. It's a total Gojo. So total Gojo is awesome, so I don't think I can ever have enough figures of that guy right there. And I love the Zero movie. Some of these are Shibuya Scramble. So that's this shelf right here. Gotta go more Demon Slayer, guys. We got the Mega House figures on the top with some Aniplex on the bottom. And these are Figma figures right here, meaning you can pose them in any way that you want. And then above that, we have some swords right here still in the box. I love these swords because they have sound effects on them. So we got Inosuke, Rengoku, and Tenge and Uzui. Then here we have Minato, one four scale license statue from the Naruto Shippuden anime, the fourth Hokage. This character right here is badass and Hex Collectibles does some nice work. I'm probably gonna get there. Madara also. So you guys got to see this part of the collection right here. And I love looking at these. All right, let's look at some manga. So these are the other two swords that I have with sound effects. We have Tanjiro and Tanitsu. So here we have Fist of the North Star volumes one through four. I don't know why they're in that order, but got to show love to the old school. We have Jujutsu Kaisen volumes zero through 14. I still have to get the rest. This is the DVD cover for 
the Mugen Train movie for Demon Slayer. And then we have My Hero Academia. We have some more My Hero Academia right here. Here we have Solo Leveling. I still gotta read this one because I heard good things about it and the artwork on these are just amazing. And down here I have some random DVDs, some Fist of the North Star, some Marvel DVDs. Also got Dragon Ball Z and here we have the manga box set for Demon Slayer. We also got a Berserk magazine right here. Rest in peace to Kentaro Miura. And here we have a little bit of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now let's take a look at these over here. And here we have all four manga box sets for One Piece. You definitely save money when you buy a whole box set as to buying all the manga volumes separately, but that's all the manga that I have. I really downgraded on all the mangas that I have because most of them I wasn't just reading. All right guys, that was my collection for 2023. I'm curious what you guys think about it. What do you think of all this One Piece right here? I love it, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Peace, and now it's time to watch some One Piece.